Hey everyone, uh, it's Marsh. This is gonna be kind of a different video today. Uh, we're playing X, but it's gonna be kind of like a speedrun tutorial. And I know there's a lot of tutorials online about how to run this game, but um, shoutouts to Caleb Hart for doing a full tutorial on each level on his route, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, this, this game, as you probably know since you're watching this, can be played in many different ways. And the, I guess I'm just going to be doing one of the different ways you can do it. Uh, my route is, I think, a little bit different than everyone else's. But uh, equally as effective, I guess. Um, and I don't claim to know everything about this game, but I do know quite a bit. So if you don't walk away... Learning anything from like speedrun wise, at least maybe you'll learn something about a classic game. So yeah, but mine's gonna be in just one straight through video of the entire game, and this is 100%, not any percent. So keep that in mind, and let's do it. So basically, the first level is just walking and mashing. Um, to get this level down effectively, you are going to have to learn the mash pretty fast. Um, just takes practice, I guess. Uh, I actually do sort of a grip switch on the controller, which is odd, but it works for me. Whatever works, that's another thing, is you can't ever hold a controller the wrong way if it works for you, so keep that in mind. And yeah, you can actually jump and shoot and get behind those bees. You're going to want to always shoot with a charge shot first so it pushes it forward so you can get behind it while running through it and shooting. And God, that saves quite a bit of time. Instead of falling down, you can just be on the other side and run straight to your right. And uh, again, if you see that we have only three health left, that's on purpose because when we fight Vile, we need a minimum of three health left to advance the cutscene. So basically, we're doing really good right now. So we're yep, shooting the cars that come down, and uh, it's, uh, and that was perfect. The fin of that ship that's on the top left should be somewhere in the center of the screen, and there we go. Just get hit by that thing, and we are set. And then just hold start. Pretty good story. And uh, really good character build, but in a speedrun that doesn't matter. So yeah, that is the highway stage. It's, um, that's where about 80% of resets happen. Just right in the beginning with those be uh, luck from the bees. Anyway, hold start through menus and show penguin. It'll be our first, first magic here. Um, starting off this level, uh, what I do is I just do a charge shot right from the beginning. Kill that, charge up, and then full charge to that, charge that bunny, charge that bunny I missed, but whatever. You get it. So yeah. That's what that's all about. So we make our way down here. And I want to explain something. Uh, slope jumps. You can use the momentum of a slope by walking into it and jumping. Like that. I'll do a little quick demonstration here. Um, so I can't jump up like that high. But with a slope jump, you can. I just gotta walk into the slope and jump. 
And it's actually really helpful. But only for the first, like, two seconds of the run. Because after that, you won't be, uh, needing to do that anymore. Because you'll have dash boots, which is what we're getting now. <sighs> so this is pretty much where the run actually begins. Because anything before this was just walking and shooting all Mega Man style. Okay, so what I do is I charge, I charge up here, pretty good start, land here, charge up oh, my dash button, for some reason it's being stupid, and jump over that ostrich guy, alright, let's jump up here, pretty simple stuff, I'm sure a lot of people have seen the chill penguin level before, uh, I had dash shoot these guys, Makes things a lot faster. And we're to Chill Penguin now. Do 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 do. Alright. Um, the RNG of Chill Penguin can be pretty horrid, and it's kind of a shame because, uh. You have to fight both of them in the same level later, and they both suck. He's giving me slides everywhere. Basically what you want to do in this fight is just charge shoot him. He'll be gone in no time. Something I didn't do that's, that's I guess, kind of important, it could save you a second probably a second or two, is uh, try to end the fights in the center of the uh, the boss room, because as you just saw there, you have to walk to it, you know, it kind of sucks. Alright, Storm Eagle is my second choice here. Yeah, and if I didn't mention earlier, this is like my route. This game can be played in so many different ways, so... Oh, wow. Okay, so we just ride this up. We usually sit on this edge. Just getting ready to go. And jump. Okay. And making our way back up. Oh wow, that was really dumb. That's horrible. Okay. Shoot him. We're gonna ride this up. Now... Wow. Alright, people would take... You know, take time to actually kill that guy, but it's actually faster to just... Boost through him. These platforms are a little tricky sometimes. But uh, I got a really bad pattern with that guy spawning there. But anyway, uh, getting the helmet, uh, you grab ice and you just shoot inside and it's done. Because when you shoot the ice, uh, shotgun ice, it blows up in five different directions. And if you're shooting inside the pipe's hitbox, all five of those. Um, backsplash shots go inside the pipes and blow those up really fast. So we have our helmet now. And we're going up this way. Pretty standard. A lot of these beginning levels are really standard. There's not much really to say about them. There's just little tricks like the ice and stuff that could help out. And you just dash and you'll never miss that little platform. Your toe will clip on it instead of jumping over, which I don't, I don't know. It doesn't really save that much time, but it's cool. All right, Storm Eagle. You know, on a dash shot in here. And um, for some reason, uh, a lot of people probably know this, but. Um, dash shotting, or what they call dash lemons, um, takes out two damage instead of one. 
so it equates to uh, like a green shot. So it's basically having a charge shot without actually charging. And uh, the games that have that are Mega Man X 1 and 2, and then they discovered that in 3, and then they took it out. Which is dumb, because charge shots are sweet. And they really help in the speedrun. Okay, so now we're doing Flame Mammoth. His, his level is really boring. Um, it also has one spot that could potentially make you reset. Well, two spots really, but... It's for safety purposes, I'm going to do a save studio. Anyway, you just want to put your foot on the edge of this and just jump and put down and then just jump out like that. Uh, it's, it's, you know, it's not too hard. A lot of people wouldn't mess that up, but it's pretty hard to miss, but it's also pretty hard to mess up too. Um, yeah. Or, it's, sorry, it's pretty easy to mess up also. Because if you hit the block that's on the left and the bottom, you can't reach it anymore, so it could potentially screw you over. Then, yeah, like you just saw there, instead of having to go up all the way around, you can just throw a charged bang and slide right there and uh, jump up. Which saves tons of time. Um, and if you saw in uh, Caleb's run, he has the boomerang, because he does Kuanger second. Uh, you could just go up there the same way I did, and use the boomerang to grab that. And also the heart tank below the platform down there too, you could grab that with that also. And screw this dash button. In there. Out there. So yeah, um, not much to say about Flame Mammoth. I am going to do a, a stagger shot first. Basically what that does is... Wow, that was awesome. Um, what that shot did in the beginning was made it so I can do just the solid, like I think it was five, solid five shots and then be dead instead of me having to shoot an extra tornado afterwards. Just extra damage before he hits the ground. Alright, now I'm doing Boomer next. Um, this is purely to pull off some tricks of getting items faster and I don't have to do a revisit. I'll explain that in a little bit. But mainly you just what I do here is you just jump up to this wow if I can do it to this wall. Jump over. It's not too bad. Just dash and stuff. Alright. Coming up here. And then... Okay. So this part's pretty easy too. Just slide back and forth. Dodging these guys. Right, left, right, left, right. And then wait for the thing to so the platform to go up. Okay, I, I, the, for this I do flame. I don't know, people do ice, but I think this is this is the way I do it. Go up. All the way up. Okay. Oh yeah, like what you see there what I'm doing is called ladder canceling. So I'm up on a ladder, and um, 
pretty standard way to get the heart. Uh, I'm up on a ladder and then I actually drop with the jump button. And, um, wow. And what that does is makes it so you can grab the edge or the lip of the place above you and do that. You just dash jump off that wall. And that'll be primarily used for a glitch that we're going to do later. I'm going to save here. Uh, which is a conversations uh, glitch with Vile and Zero later and Signal 1. And it saves us some time. Uh. So as you can see, once Boomer gets down to a certain amount of health, he'll just teleport back and forth. And you can literally jump left to right and shoot him like that. Uh, the first half of his health bar is sort of random. He can either dash at you or teleport in very randomized spots, so um, just keep that in mind. It's all, it helps to stay pretty close to him also, so he won't freaking fly all over the screen. And something I haven't been doing because I've been uh, commentating and not really thinking about it is holding start in between each and every menu to you know, progress it as fast as possible, which I'm going to start doing now, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, I don't know, it's, it's kind of hard to uh, run this and do commentary, but anyway, I'm going to grab this and run this way, and go up, and go just this way. See, so, yeah, I got the one did boomer stage primarily so I wouldn't have to ever come back to this level afterwards. And as you can kind of see what I'm doing is when I'm shooting these uh, tornadoes, I'm waiting just like maybe like a quarter of a second to start moving so it'll follow me across the screen and kill all the enemies as I'm going. Because if I get too far ahead of it, it'll just despawn and uh, won't hit anything and there will still be enemies in my way and it's not good. So. Jump, boop. It's jumping through enemies and all that good stuff. Okay, boomerang. Grab that. Drop down. I always shoot one right there so I can just get him out of the way. Ladder clip. Man, I missed. Anyway, I missed again. And again, but whatever. Okay, that was a freaking horrible stage. Anyway, we're moving on. Okay, so what I do for Spark Mandrel is he'll come down, you shoot him, and then you run up to him, shoot him, and then shoot uh, one off the wall. You can get him basically in a stun lock. Even though I'm freaking jumping too high and missing it completely. Anyway, that's kind of how you do it. That was horrible. I mean, we did it! So Spark Mandrill is done and over with. Okay, so the next person we're going to go after is Armor Armadillo. His level's probably one of the laggiest levels in the game. Um, him and Launch Octopus have some pretty crappy lag-based levels. Kind of sucks. But we have strats to avoid lag, so it's all good. Oh my, are you serious? Jump button, what the hell? Okay. Sparks. Okay, go grab this. Get the flame out. Run on that on. Alright. Okay. 
You can just jump here and shoot those guys, and then jump, 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 jump. Oh, that sucked. Jump. Oh, <sighs> alright. Then you get in front of him and get your boomerang ready. I'm gonna jump here, shoot the boomerang, and it'll grab it, and then just have it follow you over here. And then shoot the charge right there. And now what we're gonna do here, it looks really goofy, but we're just gonna jump up and down on this platform uh, on the cart to make sure that the birds don't spawn. Because when you do that, uh, the birds indeed won't spawn. And that, if you probably know, from playing on a console, uh, that produces a lot of lag with those birds there because there's just way too many things on the screen. And if you also saw there, uh, I opened up the fight with a charged e spark, which does a lot of damage, and I just did more and more of it. But yeah, Armored Armadillo is really simple, and I beat him towards the center of the screen, which is good also. I'd say it some time. So overall, that was a pretty decent level. There's not really much to say about it. We're going to be seeing a lot of it later in the room, so... Now, launch octopus time like two of the laggiest levels like right next to each other. <clears throat> so um there are <clears throat> sorry. There are two like submarine type mini bosses in this level. Um, that usually people would go and fight Sting Chameleon first to get Sea Sting to kill these things, but E Spark works pretty well too. It might be a little slower, but it's the way I do it. I might change my route up a little bit. Wow, okay, that's stupid. But um for now, this thing works pretty well. I'm just finish it off like that. Now what I'm doing is a charged... There we go, that's pretty good. And whoop, get off the screen so the lag reduction struts are working. Sorry, I can't talk. Yeah, if you get off the screen there, it, oh wow, I let go. It kills all the lag you would have had. And I just gained more lag by sucking. Anyway, basically anything that's on screen, oh wow, this level is freaking horrible. Basically if you get off screen while that tank is exploding, it completely reduces lag. And then we're just going to kill him before he even gets out of the ground. And go this way. That was wow, that was really bad. That was horrible. Cannot believe that. Anyway. So I charged up so we can get a good solid hit on him first. Now this boss can be really dumb because he'll do these tornado attacks although like this. What I usually do is do this to get out of it but that can be the best and worst thing to ever do. I'm, I might die here anyway. I hope, there we go, okay. Yeah, if you do that strat that I just did where he grabs onto you, sometimes he just won't let go and one, it kills you because he won't let go until you die, and then two, you're wasting tons of time because it actually takes your help out really, really slowly. Um, yeah, it's, you can really get punished by that. 
But anyway, we're going back to Chopin and then to get his heart tank. Wow. This is stupid. Right. And now that we have the dash boots, we're gonna move through this a billion times faster. Yeah. Wow. Can get the flame equipped here. All right. And now we got that. Awesome. Pretty standard. Revisit. Okay, now once we beat his level, we should have 100%. And then we'll go get the Hadouken. Okay. Um, a lot of people come here, obviously, before, um, before Launch Octopus, and they do the, what's called, Waterless. But, I do that. That's my strat. Um, waterless strat would be putting a charged ice up into one of those rocks and then sliding off and jumping over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. Nine, two. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay. Besides me missing one. Oh, I got the foot, nice, the foot. It's hard to do. Um, yeah, with him, you want to save enough boomerang to kill, um, Stink Chameleon in the end. But he's conveniently weak against Boomer. So yeah. So I did 18 shots. Um, because the last shot I'm gonna do is gonna be a charge shot on something. So. Or a dash shot, I guess you could say. Oh, I'm gonna pick this up. Alright. Now what I do that's different is since I have the real shield, I'm going to use it and just do this. Uh, you could also dash shot your way through this, but I don't know. That's the way I do it. So I should have enough. If not, I'll just Two dash shots will kill after. Okay, time to put on the old infinite combo here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Yep, it is gonna be two. Well, three actually. So I actually wasted tons of time there. Alright, whatever. I forgot that uh, one of those boomerangs actually hit him and outside of his hitbox and didn't do any damage. So I wasted one and didn't really think about it. Alright, well that's all the Mavericks out of the way. And now we just go get Hadoken. Hadoken. Alright. Have enough lives? No, so I have to get one. Uh, but why don't I have enough lives? I'm not sure. But... This is something you like never want to have happen is you have to stop and bomb for lives, which I have to do. Alright.
So basically what we have to do now is just make our way through this level like four times. And if you noticed the place above the door to get the Hadouken, well that's where the Hadouken will show up. The place above the boss door, you have to actually like see that part up there with the health. And then when you die, you reset back to the checkpoint and you go through that four times. And then the four times you show up, the Hadouken will be there. But that's only if you have 100% and full health. So you see, but you don't even have to get that, but I just did anyway. But, um, a good strat for actually, like, seeing that and killing yourself in one swift motion is to jump off the cart a little early and then turn around and you'll angle pretty much down right into the pit. But you'll still be able to see the platform up there. So I'll try and show you the jump, angle down, and of course I hit the cart, but get the idea. Oh man, I see too much of this level. That's why any percent is sort of nice, because you don't have to do this at all. The any percent run would like almost be done by now. There you go, that's kind of what you want to have happen. But yeah, um, now that we have this, we can just go pound out the signal stages. Alright. I have a decent amount of health stacked up. So, if I do mess something up, then I can easily fix it. So the idea here is we're just going to get ourselves a little bit of hurt going on here. And if you're wondering why that is, it's because when we go to fight Vile, it's another one of those, another one of those fights where you actually like, you know, it's scripted. So we're going to do a ladder cancel and skip the conversation and get the door. And now the game doesn't know what's going on because the conversation that was supposed to happen in that room is not happening here. I don't know if I'm going to get this or not. Nope, I didn't. Oh, I did. Okay, cool. Anyway. Uh... <laughs> The conversation that was supposed to happen two rooms ago was happening in the last room because when you hit the floor, it triggers the uh, conversation. And since we skipped that because we didn't touch the floor, the game has no idea what was going on. It was trying to keep up with uh, the scripted bat, the scripted battle, and the uh, text. So now that we're finally like back on track again. We just gotta play Vile, which isn't very hard at all. <laughs> uh, yeah, he'll always um, he'll always start with a jump over your head, and as long as you're not too far to the left, because uh, if you are too far to the left, you will just go off screen and the Hadouken will miss. But um, you can always just shoot a Hadouken to your left and hit guy. So we're gonna go this way. Wow, it sucked. 
Okay. Get this charging. Mm. Ah. Okay, right there. Alright. So now it's boomer time. So what we're gonna want to do is just open up with a straight head open and do your right. And that sucked. Because it decided to be dumb. And not do what I told it to. So we're just gonna be doing that now, I guess. Yeah, he did what I didn't want to have happen. Um also my controller did what I didn't want it to do either. Uh, sometimes if you input the uh, shot a little too early, uh, Mega Man will just shoot and not do the Hadouken at all, and that that's as simple as it sounds. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I told you that was my fault. Alright, uh, they have full health again. But really, what you want to have happen is him just dash forward. You just do a Hadoken shot right in there. Now this is the one of the biggest RNG based bosses of all time. And you really have to know how to there we go. You just gotta know how to read the vines and where he's gonna go. You just point your Hadoken accordingly. Yeah. Put more on that coin with like uh he opens up with either sliding forward, which is what you want. Or he'll teleport, which is what you don't want, because he'll completely miss. And uh, unfortunately, he did. He did kind of teleport. Oh, man, this level opened up really quick. All right. Well, <laughs> I mean, he teleported after I shot him, so whatever. Anyway, chill penguin. Um, he'll always open up with that, and I screwed that shit up really badly. And I just got hit again, so that also sucks. Yeah, he'll open up with a charge. Uh, ow. He'll open up with a shot, and then uh, you just gotta jump over. And get him with that again. And charge she's staying here. Pretty basic. Charge it again. Okay. So the Hadoken win, you just do four slides forward. And I did the shot again. 50-50. Got him. Okay. That's called the 50-50 strat. Uh, basically, he dodges one of two ways. And you can, if you can guess it, then you can get it. It's kind of scary, though. Because if you do get hit, you're wasting more energy. And you don't want that. Because you can, as you can see, this, this level has been pretty horrible. Blue eye, that's what I wanted. Red eye, not what I wanted, but okay. You can have dark in the blue eyes when they drop like that, which is pretty nice. Okay, I'd say overall this was a pretty decent run of the fight. That's pretty good. Ooh! This run is horrible, yay! Okay. So the next level is the one that has probably... No, not probably, definitely the two hardest tricks in the game. Um, which are called the Armadillo Skip and the Cham Air, uh, Chameleon Air Hadoken. Um, the first one's Armadillo Skip. I just want to charge this up and shoot ice right there. And bam. The camera does not scroll up because the the roof is the roof of the room is the trigger. 
So that's the armadillo skip, which is sometimes 50-50. Um, okay. So we're gonna charge up real quick, because I got hit by that bad I had to stop, but go through the bullet charged ice. Now, as you know, Hadoken is uh, only can be done on solid ground, but watch this. Okay, so that worked really well. <laughs> um, that's probably the only reason I would keep this run at this point is getting the armadillo skip and that in the same run. In the same run. So um, what I did there was, since you can only do Hadoken on the ground, um, you can't ever do it in air. But I just did. The reason being is you put a charged sled up in the wall, and that acts as a platform, obviously. Uh, but you have, like, I think six frames to do a Hadoken, but when you do the Hadoken, press pause instead of your shot button. Uh, and what that does is you have the inputs already ready, and you go into your menu with start, obviously. And then you switch to normal buster, and then unpause and mash, and you should do a Hadoken. Mash shot. I don't think it's pretty easy. Um, I guess just go over the last two bosses. Spark Man, where you just freeze him, jump over Hadoken. And what it just did now is launch Octopus. He will always shoot a missile and jump in the air. All you have to do is shoot once and then do a Hadoken as he lands accordingly. Uh, Flame Mammoth is pretty easy too. You just when the battle starts, you just jump backwards and open to your right. And he's gone. He never had a chance in this run. Alright. So, okay, there's a few things you can do. You can actually Hadoken uh, Dino Tank, but it's sort of hard. Um, there's two patterns that you can have. To start off with. I got the bad pattern, but I still got it. That's called the Chompado. Um, basically you just have to time it when he drops. The other good pattern, you, the preferred pattern, is the bottom will slide over and his head will go up and come down at an angle. As you probably know, you've seen it before, but um, that one you can just get a straight shot off into his face. and. Uh, that would kill him in one hit. Um, and it's less time taken. But either one, if you can get either one, that's great. Because that fight is a little long. The one you're using the boomerangs. Okay, Sigma fight is pretty straightforward. Um, the dog is just going to jump over your head and then you head open and the way back through that. And now Sigma, um, I'm going to call it Jedi Sigma or Savior Sigma. It'll just dash at you and just hit open. Done. And for the Alberta Sigma, we just use Rolling Shield and do his head and hope that the hands don't troll us hardcore. That's over. Um, so yeah, that's how that goes. Uh, no, blah, 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 and then we beat the game. So that is my route. Uh, I performed it pretty horribly this time around, but I'm um, probably around like a 46. Um, if everything were to go actually right and not screw a lot of that up, could have saved quite a bit of time. 
but uh, those are some tricks you can do in your speedrun if you had watched this far. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, things to point out are the the conversation skip in Signal One doesn't actually save that much time. There's actually two forms to that. There's one that is called the full, the full skip, and that's what I got. Where actually, when you go into the room, Vial is jumping around and hits you while there's text still going on. And then uh, there's another thing called the mini, which is uh, you get the first skip in the first room. When you come in, you if you missed that the text would just go on like the same. That's called a mini. But um, both of those save quite a bit of time over just watching it regularly. Uh, let's see. Uh, Sting Chameleon. That trick. Um, basically the way to do that for the Air Hadoken is you want to just walk through that room with charged anything. Switch to ice. You want to dash out and turn around immediately and drop it like kind of halfway to three quarters way out of the wall. And if you've done that right, you can, before the actual platform creates itself in the wall, you can jump up above it and turn around and then do the Hadoken start input. And you just remember that it's important that when you come out of the menu, you're mashing as hard or as fast as possible as soon as you can. Um, so like right when you hit start, just start pounding Y. And that should work. The armadillo skip is a little odd, but I'll try to explain it. Basically what you can, you can go back and look at it, but what it is, is um, you go up and you have charged ice but don't jump up all the way just keep as close to the ground as possible so the, uh, the screen doesn't scroll up and what that'll do is what you actually you're going into the door uh, through what's called uh, I think what was described as the zero pixel I'm, I'm not really certain how that works but um, the the when you walk through the door the door each door has a flag which basically tells the game what to do well if you enter that with a slide and the camera's down that flag doesn't trigger and the camera won't scroll up and since armadillo's scroll flag or not scroll flag um his fight flag it's up in the ceiling. When the camera hits up, he's gonna come down. So if I were to walk through there and jump, he would have spawned, which I guess really doesn't matter considering you can just walk to the next boss door, but whatever. But since we didn't, we can just completely skip the fight altogether, which is awesome. Um, there's way better explanations for that trick than what I just said. But whatever. <sighs> um, other than that, the run is pretty basic. There's a lot of movement management that takes a lot of practice. It, it's not it's not as easy as just running through the game as fast as possible. Um. It's all about like what route you take or what route you're comfortable with taking. Taking as few revisits as possible. Like we only had to do one mandatory revisit. Which is awesome. That's how it should be. Uh, my run before is I did Chill Penguin, Storm Eagle. Uh, Flame Mammoth, then Spark Mandrel, and then Armored Armadillo, Launch Octopus, Boomer, Kuwanger, and then Sting Chameleon, and then I went and I got the um, sub tank from Spark Mandrel, 
and then went and got the chill penguin heart. Which, that's two revisits, that sucks. Uh, so, change that around. So I had to do one mandatory revisit, <clears throat> then the Hadoken, which a lot of that, I don't know, is crap, because you have to do that level like five times. This run is pretty optimized. As you can see, I was commentating, and a lot of the sh stuff I just completely muffed up. And, uh, I don't know, it's a little bit different story when I'm not trying to explain stuff. But I don't know, it's a, it's a fun run to do. And it's really satisfying when you finally cut your time. But, um, I, I hope this video helped, too. Um, yeah, I say um too much. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the run, and, uh... I'll be seeing you around. Have a good one, guys.